So how can you embrace this intimacy with yourself in your environment? One really important thing is to create a space that is just for you. Now this can be a space in your bedroom or you know, a cozy corner in your living room. We all have different kinds of spaces and a lot of people are living in small environments. And so I want to acknowledge that not everybody gets to have an entire room to themselves and that's okay. As long as you can find a spot in your home that you dedicate just for you. Even if it's the kitchen table, I don't care. Work with what you have. Have kids, right? they're all over the place. Find a spot where you dedicate to, this is mommy's cozy corner time. <laughs> Children have their cozy corner time, mommy can have cozy corner time. Be intentional with what you place there. You have a beautiful vase of flowers or a plant that symbolizes growth for you or abundance for you. I love um, Chinese evergreens, those pink Chinese evergreens, because they have the color pink, which is connected to that feminine chi and relationship chi and, and in cultivating this positive relationship with yourself. The, these can all be um, symbolic indicators of your intention to create a space that is just for you. And you can bring in some beautiful crystals. Maybe you find imagery that's connected to something that you want to invoke for yourself. Self-compassion, self-love, self-purpose. Find something that inspires you and, and hang it there. You can bring in the colors that you love. Anything that truly makes you feel warm and held and inspired. Your intention in feng shui is such a vital part of attracting more of the, the energy and the outcomes that you want. When you go to this corner, allow yourself the time and space to be in that receptive place. Maybe it's journaling, maybe it's writing out a vision that you have for yourself, connecting to your gifts, asking yourself these questions like, what is my gift? Maybe it's a space where you allow your body to move. As you visualize what your gifts are, you can put this in movement. So it's combining your visual surroundings that also become in alignment with your heart's and soul's desire. This can be done in meditation and visualization. It could be done in a meditation where you just ask yourself the question and you allow the answer to come. It could be more guided. There are a lot of ways to listen to yourself. And I encourage you to find what works for you because everybody is different. Some people don't can't stand sitting still. Some people need to move. Some people need to, to paint and be expressive. Step one, Create that cozy corner. Step two, find your way of expressing where you're at today. Checking in with yourself the way that you would want your partner to check in with you. This is what true intimacy is with yourself. It's about listening. And so much of what we do is doing. And so being in that feminine chi, empowered feminine chi, is listening.